Leo Dreger here. I want to continue the penetration testing methodology. And I want to talk about this module. I want to talk about system hacking. Now, this is the first point in which we have the potential of changing the integrity of our systems. Most everything we've done at this point has been uh, due to the fact that information has been disclosed to us. However, now we get to start changing the integrity of our systems and there's a couple ways in which we can do that. It all starts with getting access or gaining access to the systems. And part of the, the easiest way to get that done is just to know uh, username and password. So we have to go after the username and password combination. So we're going to dissect the basics of how to authenticate to systems, how that works, and then use that to our advantage. Part of that is knowing the land manager hashing system, which is a little bit outdated, but that serves as the foundational system to, well, where are we in terms of authentication today? Once we get access to our systems, then it has to deal with well, let's extend those privileges. So we'll talk about privilege escalation. Now you can extend your privileges uh, vertically, meaning going from a regular user account to a super user account, or you can bypass access control list in which we call horizontal privilege escalations. And the easiest way to think about it is realistically group A versus group B. If group A has restrictions, well then we want to become a member of group B and go in laterally or horizontally. Ultimately, once we get access to the systems, either through a password or through privilege escalation, we want to execute some of our own applications on the system. Um, and this is where root kits, and there's some very well-known popular root kits. So we'll talk about the whole root kit process and anti-root kit process, and then we'll move on to um, some advanced techniques, uh, techniques like stenography um, and the different methods of that and then we'll finally wrap up using um, clearing our tracks or covering our tracks so that we can maintain access to our systems because there's no sense getting access to a system if that access is going to get revoked. So there's a lot to cover in this module so let's go ahead and get started and get our hands dirty.